Welcome to La Cucina Anna Maria. I'm Anna Maria De Freitas, owner of the Harrison House Suites, the Tucker House Inn, and Coho Restaurant in Friday Harbor, San Juan Island. Here I am at the beautiful Pelandaba Lavender Fields. Pelandaba is the premier producer of lavender plants, essential oil, and handcrafted lavender products. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to make yogurt coated fruit. I actually have two different versions that I'm going to show you how to make. The first is going to be with a Greek yogurt that I've infused with lavender and some honey. So that's right here. And we're just going to dip the fruit in the lavender honey, the yogurt lavender honey, and then we're going to put it in the freezer. So it's going to be a, like a nice frozen summer uh, dessert. So I have some strawberries. We'll just dip them. I have some bananas, and then we're going to put some shaved chocolate on them. Probably should have done the bananas first so that the bananas and the strawberries are not all touching. And I'm going to take a little bit of shaved chocolate. To garnish. And this is a really great and a healthy summertime dessert. So this is our first version of yogurt coated fruit. And then our second version, which is definitely for those that have a sweet tooth. I have some butter that's so softened. And again, this would be great in a food processor, but it's soft enough. I'm just going to give that a little bit of a whisk. And then I have some yogurt. This is some Greek yogurt that I put in a cheesecloth and hung overnight, so almost like made a yogurt cheese. And we'll whisk that in. Okay. Then I, I'm going to add a little bit of culinary lavender. And these are the culinary lavender buds. And if you look over my shoulder to the left, you'll see the culinary lavender fields. They're the green rows because the culinary lavender has already been harvested. You want to harvest it when the flower buds, there's only one or two flower buds per plant. So that means the oils haven't begun to release. So I'll put a couple of these in my mortar and pestle, grind them up. And with lavender, the more anything stays in contact with lavender, the stronger the lavender flavor. So if I made this and I let it sit overnight, the lavender flavor would be a little bit more pronounced. Not necessarily a bad thing. And I'm going to add a little bit of powdered sugar. So this is just like making a, a flat icing. And you're going to keep on whisking. I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla. And you're going to whisk it until it's the consistency of this other, other icing that I have here, or this other coating that I have here. So um, I'll take that. And then you just dip your fruit. I have some apricots that I've already pre-dipped. I think this one has a little bit more. And you're just going to dip it. And then these go in the fridge for three to four hours. I'm only dipping part of it because Again, I think it's a, it's a sort of sweet in this way. You have the tanginess of the apricots, which play really well with the lavender and with the yogurt. There you go. So I have my fruit here ready to be enjoyed. I hope you like your yogurt-coated fruit. Bon appetito.